gotta get a Kidding. Nobody's on the treadmill this morning, yeah. right? We're in between holidays. Mm -hmm. It's the first that we got to get up on the treadmill. Right. You know, six people were taken to the hospital after some horses broke from their riders. This was near an equestrian center in LA. Saturday, one of the victims um, said that the whole thing just started as a stampede. Uh, witnesses say the horses were running in every which direction. But what spooked them? What scared them? Strong. I was the only person in there. And I've been watching the people riding through here, and at one point, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a horse running at breakneck speed, ears back, and that signals uh, fright. And it took off in that direction, and I thought, that's kind of strange. And the next thing I saw was people on foot, about 10 or 15 people running behind it, and behind them were uh, five or six other horses uh, chasing. You know, it's not clear what scared the horses. Pope Francis is called the best dressed man of 2013. Really? Esquire magazine called the pick unconventional, sure, but it, po it points to his modest choices in clothing. Now, um, obviously, as the Pope, this is how you see him, and he is not known to wear bright colored shoes and some of the flashier additional garments that some previous popes have been known for. Pope Francis beat out actors like Bradley Cooper and Chris Pine for the top spot. Simplicity. Mm. Um, okay, it's five minutes to the hour, so maybe you are up right now at the airport because you're going to go where you're going to be for New Year's Eve. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Robin. And uh, just a heads up, the upper Midwest, uh, all around the Great Lakes, real cold temperatures. You're talking minus 20 to minus 40 is the way it feels on your skin. Wisconsin, Minnesota, breezy out there for the Northeast, too. Here's what we're calling for for the day. Calling for about a half hour, an hour delay. Arriving flights, New York City metros, JFK, LaGuardia, Newark, short delays, but it's wind plus volume, Philadelphia, too. Chicago, more light snow later today. A little de-icing in Minneapolis, light snow as well. We'll look at that radar in a couple minutes. Robin. All right, thank you. Right. So weeks ahead of the Winter Games, um, another deadly attack has happened in Russia, this time during the morning rush. It's 11 minutes past the hour, so our salute to the troops. This morning, there's a message from a father to his children because both of them are serving in the military. Morning. Uh, good morning, Robin. My name is William, and I'd like to send a salute out to the Hill family, our daughter, Janae, who is serving in the Air Force, our son, Trevor, who served in the Navy, and we greatly appreciate their service and the service of my wife, who serves along with us side by side. Thank you. Good morning. I've said this this morning. No, the thanks is to you because you have at least three people in your family in the service. Wow. If you have somebody in the military and you want the salute to be about them, here's your chance. The instructions are at hlntv.com slash Robin. You know, scientists are trying to figure out what was that massive fireball in the skies over the Midwest. Now, here's the video. This video is out of Iowa. But hundreds of people in at least four different states reported that they saw a fireball on Thursday night. It was about, mm, like 10 seconds scientists seem to think that it was either a meteorite or some space junk coming to an end you know i'm going to talk biz for you today as jen is off this week more than a million people lost their unemployment benefits as of saturday long-term federal benefits went away because congress did not pass an extension so what it means is now if you're out of work you're not covered beyond the 26 weeks now, many Republicans say the economy is doing better, so the extended benefits are not needed. Many Democrats are expected to try to push to have those benefits, though, reinstated. Target confirmed that debit card PIN data was also stolen during the massive hack that started on Black Friday. Do you remember at first Target said that no PINs were compromised, but it still says that your PINs are safe because the numbers were strongly encrypted. But if you use a debit card inside one of their stores, some some of the experts are saying you might want to go ahead and either just change your pin or get a brand new card altogether. You know, this has to be one of the strangest armed robberies ever caught on tape. Police in Pompano Beach, Florida say that when a, sus a suspect demanded cash from a CVS clerk, she told them, you know what, you're going to have to check with my boss. The suspect waited until the woman came back with her boss, the manager. 
Shoppers had no idea what was actually going on. The manager handed the suspect hundreds of dollars and the suspect's still on the loose. Waited there the entire time. You know, on New Year's Eve, find out um, what <laughs> viral video your state is most responsible for in this year. Turn to HLN. So we have some of the funniest, most shared stories of 2013. You know, like maybe there were parodies or a video of an angry snowman. Here you go. Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball remade. The Wrecking Ball parody, and let's just say this guy, <laughs> he's a naughty boy. Wow. He kind of looked like a sexy hobbit. <laughs> you put that so man in the wrong neighborhood, and it would not be good for him. When she was flying forward, her dress just everywhere. So that must have been a nice little parting gift for all the guests at the wedding. So it's part of 50 States, 50 Stories, what you shared in 2013. Starts at 9 p.m. Eastern, New Year's Eve night, New Year's Eve. <laughs> on HLN. A 16-year-old boy got lost, but then found in the woods, and you're going to hear more about how he's reunited with his family. However, we're also learning that he may have gone missing previously. Britney Spears debuted her new show on the Vegas Strip, and you're going to hear about the reviews. Uh, you know, now they're covering uh, the playoffs, right? Yeah, that's true. And while it's not a hard job, so to speak, when you're saying, you know, if you pick oranges for a living, that's a hard job. Yeah. If you're sitting talking on television, it's not a hard job, but it's a long job. It is. They have to sit up there all day long, right? <laughs> you must have been watching the Redskins-Giants <laughs> game yesterday. Because I was watching, I was doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, he wasn't getting excited about the Bears game coming up? That was a big game, too. That was fun that to was watch. Good. But you know he needs to draw on the eyeballs on his eyelids next time. <laughs> Like, like Curly from the Three Stooges. Oh, Do my God. Hey, Air Travel Wise today, here's what it looks like. Radar showing the snow around central parts of New York. That's lake effect snow. So when you have that wind up there, that's going to affect you around the New York City airspace with that wind. You're talking about 20-mile-per-hour gusts today. Not that bad, but enough of the volume to slow you down by a half an hour. Yeah, same with Philadelphia. Think of Chicago, light snow back in the picture again today. Minneapolis, same thing, but those are short delays. Robin, I'll show you the temperatures in a couple minutes. You know, yes, I'm going to have to get a message to Mike Dicka that one of the reasons that I stand up over here sometimes mm -hmm. is so. Is to wake up. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm with get you. Get the energy Absolutely. flowing. I love that. Stand while you're doing TV. <laughs> it's a great, thing. great video. Can't fall asleep while you're standing. <laughs> Did you know that bikes are helping power the ball drop for Times Square tomorrow night? Yeah. So as people pedal these stationary bikes that are set up outside, apparently, um, their energy that they create is stored in batteries and then it's transferred to the power grid and it's been going on over the weekend it continues today you better start pedaling faster because it takes 50,000 watts of power uh, just for the lights on the ball and every bike will generate about 75 watts per hour that's cool a Formula One racing legend is in a coma this morning after hitting his head on a ski trip in France. And we'll have more about what the doctors are saying regarding his prognosis. Do you remember the Texas senator who pulled an all-night... So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older yeah, you're welcome. Now it's stuck in your head all day. <laughs> right. Two hikers who triggered a massive avalanche are going to be okay, apparently, after they were rescued. Officials in New Hampshire say these two men got separated from their group Saturday on Mount Washington, and poor visibility caused them to go off course and end up in the avalanche zone. The snow slide carried them more than 800 feet, they say, to the bottom of a ravine. That almost sounds unbelievable. Wow, it sure does. Wow. Six people were taken to the hospital after some horses broke from their riders near an equestrian center 